What's your name? Alyssa. Alyssa? My name's Dalton. I owe you five bucks, okay? Thank you for helping thank you for helping me. Okay. Where are you gonna be? What's up machine freaks and welcome back to the 3D Machines Marathon. I wanted to do a quick intro before we actually get into the video. This double upload thing has been crazy. It's been extremely fun and I know you guys have enjoyed the hell out of it. So don't forget to smash the hell out of that like button, get 10,000 likes within 12 hours and I'll put up another video today. Let's get into the video, shall we? I did not finish the race. My GoPro snapped off. I hit, you guys will probably see it. I hit this big branch. It caught the GoPro, ripped it off my head. Then the anchor was hanging on to it. So I hurried up and ripped the anchor off. It was surprisingly strong. Threw it off, you guys saw that. I was gonna finish the race and not pick it up. But then I came to a turn and for some reason the bike just stalled out. I wasn't at a low RPM or anything, I just stalled out. So then it was hard to start back up. Won another mile, it stalled out again. It took about 50 kicks to start. I think it's running a little too lean. I had two kids help me try to find the GoPro. The girl's name was Alyssa. I don't. The the boy's name was Tyler. Tyler gave up. Uh, Alyssa um, was determined. She was very determined. She helped me find it. I actually found it. But I appreciate her looking with me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to pay her. I offered the kids five bucks. Awesome incentive, and they were great help. I really appreciate it. So as you can see, my anchor worked awesome. I'm glad I had that. And then it just ripped off the top of the GoPro. So that was, that was sweet. And it, it looks like I can use the GoPro if I bend that tab. That, that one's a little bent. But I brought the bike back. I'm gonna have to adjust the carburetor. I think it's running too lean, so it's stalling out. And then once, once I choke it and give it, you know, that right little throttle, it'll start back up. But it was a pain. I was running out of all sorts of energy. What really sucks is I had a wonderful start, like a beautiful start. I came around the turn, a, a, a couple people wrecked, and then I passed a couple people. I was probably in like 10th place, which is good for me. I'm used to like way, way in the back because this is only my second race. I was doing so good. Then the GoPro happened, and then the stalling happened. Like I said, the GoPros are expensive. I'm not just going to throw a GoPro away. That's not worth it to me. I guess I'll just get some shots of the race. The riders should be running out of time. This might be their last lap. Maybe if it's not this lap, maybe the next. myself out too fast. Yeah? I didn't stand up enough. There's a lot of sit-down spots, wasn't there? Okay. Seth, what happened, buddy? Got that white belt. I should have got this instead of the Duramax. It's a Nissan. With a Cummins. This thing's awesome. That thing is so awesome. That is wicked. It's so windy, I was trying to get a couple time lapses, and when I put my camera on the tripod, the wind would just blow it over. It did blow it over once. 
All the bikes are loaded. Seth and Jake are waiting for their results. Well, we made it where we want to eat. We couldn't even make it in the parking lot. We had to park over in this lot over here. Seth's bike gave us a couple issues tipping over. It didn't tip completely over, but it did come loose. So Jake had to tighten it down. I'm starving. I'm hangry. This is where you're supposed to park. We left Buffalo an hour ago, and now we made it to Jake's house. We're gonna unload Seth's bike and Jake's bike, and then I'm gonna take off with my trailer. looking forward to this race and I really wanted to give it my all and I was doing excellent in the beginning excellent one thing that I forgot to mention and I wish I got on camera uh, my cousins uh, followed us on the way back for a, a portion of the throughway uh, they had an easy pass and they were behind us so when we had to pick up our ticket at the toll they took the easy pass and got in front of us and then when it came to the throughway they saw me going to pass them and they threw an iced coffee out the window. Luckily it didn't hit my truck, but it, it did splatter everywhere. And then about 10 miles down the road, I saw them coming. I'm like, Jake, did you finish your sub? He says, no. I'm like, give me that sub, give me that sub. So I threw it just in time. I put my window down, throw it out the window. I didn't even have time to look. That's how quick they were coming up on me. I see my cousin in the shotgun seat and he's just laughing and Jake and his girlfriend go, Man, that soap went in his grill. Oh, it was hilarious. We have a lot of moments like that that we don't catch on camera. All the fun little bits that it's just too quick to get a camera out. I hope you guys enjoyed my defeat. Jake and Seth did very well. I will give them that. They both finished the race. They did finish quite well. And believe it or not, I didn't come in last. Thanks for watching, you guys. Until tomorrow, I hope things get a little brighter. 3D machines out. I did end up finding my GoPro, but I did lose it for like 35 minutes and I swore that I was never gonna find it again. I ripped it off my helmet, threw it in the weeds, and I looked for 35 minutes. Two kids helped me. Alyssa was a lot more determined than her brother was, and I appreciate that. Giving up, it's no good. Quitting, no good. Speaking of appreciation, I want to show more appreciation than just double uploading. I want to go ahead and do a quick giveaway. I bought some presents for Jake and Seth. Seth has a YZ, so he's got blue gloves. Jake's got the KTM. There's no orange gloves, so I bought black. Black goes with anything, white goes with anything. I know Jake and Seth are watching this video. Jake and Seth, you do not have to buy me anything for Christmas. This is just to show you my appreciation for the awesome friendship that we have. You guys are awesome. But not only do I want to get Jake and Seth something for Christmas, I want to get three of you guys something for Christmas. So all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below, hit the like button, and then tomorrow I'll pick a winner, I'll announce it on the video, and all you have to do is message me on YouTube, it's real easy, you just click the about button. I'm going to leave a link in the description for the gloves, just give me the size and color and your address, send that message to me, I will get it, I'll get the gloves from Amazon and send them to you. If you don't end up winning and you're on the market for some gloves, you can rock the same gloves that all us machine freaks will be rocking. I look forward to the second video today, don't forget, keep it froggy fresh. Until 12 hours, 3D Machines out!